I would now like to invite Gauri and Sharu to come up on stage and then we can go. Congratulations again, Gauri. I will now request Sharu to come up and say a few words. First of all, thank you very much uh, for hosting us. Thank you, Penguin, and the team at Penguin for doing this for Dolly. And all reasons which are a little more pertinent than just the book and uh, uh, just a launch of the fact that she's designing houses and restaurants and hotels and except my rooms in my house, she's designing everything else around the world. But still, I'm a forgiving person. The kind of by heart. So I will take that. But uh, having said that, the book does contain a few things that I would like to mention, even though it may sound strange because she's my wife and we've been married to each other for over 30 years and it becomes the duty of a husband to talk like this, but only as an individual because me and Dolly have known each other. She was 14 hours old. I've been doing what I do for a long time. And uh, Dolly has played her part in the best way possible. We've raised three beautiful children. Um, you know, she's been a wife of a movie star who became extremely popular because of the grace of God and people like so yeah. <laughs> but, but there was a passion she always had. Uh, you know, there was a sense of creativity. There's a little mediocre sense of creativity in a whole family, even a little ten-year-old. We do dabble with paints, we do think we can do a little bit of music, little, little. Uh, not outstanding. And Dolly was also uh, part of the journey, but she's always been a little creative about things, how she would do up a space or do a little drawing of, uh, uh, you know, give vent to it. This book, I think, stands for all that. It doesn't make a difference to all the youngsters, all the people who miss out on a dream of their life to be creative. You can start at any age. I think already started mid 40s. Uh, but where are you? <laughs> She's 37. Why do you keep doing so much work? And she says, because it satisfies me. And I think this book stands for that. That you follow your dreams, do what satisfies you. The material end of it all is not so important. Uh, we have dinners at home, which is, <clears throat> we don't have any choice in that. We all have to have dinner together. And on those dinners, we discuss how was your day at work. And uh, at the end of the dinner, the discussion is it was a satisfying day. Because she believes a satisfying day is a happy day. And at whatever stage, whatever age, you are trying to follow your dream, at the end of it all, it's very important to follow that. It's what we've learned from Gauri, and I hope everyone who reads this book, of course, it's got lovely designs, it's got pictures of the family, it's got some stuff written in it, which I don't understand at all. But it can offer well for people who feel that the dreams have passed in life, and they can come back to it and try it at any age, without any formal education, which she could not get because she got married very early, but still make something come out of it which makes you satisfied. So thank you, Gauri, for giving us this mantra of success to the family. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ashwarya, and thank you everyone at Penguin, and thank you to all of you who come here and uh, uh, be part of this. I'm extremely happy and I'm extremely satisfied that I'm here. That you launch this. Thank you very much. Will we now uh, talk a little bit more uh, with Charuk and Gauri about the book? What do we do with this? And then the only person to turn was I said, Listen, Gauri, you have little artistic talent. Why don't you become the designer of the house? So actually, Manat started like that. 
So whatever little monies we earned over years, we kept on buying small things. I remember we had gone down once even to South Africa, I think, and we had little money and we bought the leather for the sofa and that we put on. And all those small, small things we used to buy with, you know, at that time, when you traveled abroad, I think you got 100 pounds or uh, some amount of money that you were allowed to carry from India. So it was cleaning grounds is what actually made her start designing. You know, Bhumanath is, <coughs> if I may say, a little big. And then, you know, for her to start doing something at a, such a young age, not realize, she kept on designing stuff. And for me, it's very nice that, uh, you know, I don't have to look for another designer. Uh, I can, I can uh, scream and shout at her. Oh, this is not nice, so you change this and all, which I've never done, I'm just joking. I just wanted to say it here in public. And uh, children smile. A lot of people get fooled when they walk in and they say, oh my God, you read them all, and they are, yeah, yeah, 70% of them. Well, the book has actually, you know, uh, the things that you talk about in terms of your projects and people you work with along the way. So tell us a little bit about, you know, the contents of the book. The best part of the book, I would say, is the the family pictures we've, we've done together. Um, to get to get all of them under one roof, um, the kids, and it was easier to get Aryan's, uh, Shah Rukh's date. Uh, we were just waiting for Aryan's date all the time. That like, when is he going to give me time? And when is Abraham going to give me time to get this one picture together? So that's what I've really enjoyed, apart from design. And I believe um, you did that twice. Yes. yes, because there yes. was one photo shoot that we yes. did before. Um, you know, product design um, for, access, uh, for accessories and uh, we have put that on Tata Um That has been um, like one of my most exciting um, you know, ventures lately. Swail is very happy to hear that. <laughs> on Tata Cake, I'm yes. the first. So... <laughs> I'm better looking than you, bro. Looks to everything. Who needs talent when you look like me? Yeah, so. Um, yeah, and I need to get his approval because he may come up with a better design at all times. So, <laughs> that was the challenge. Apart from Red Chili's being, um, you know, has various um, verticals, whether it's the KPR office or is it the production, um, you know which is there, or the television, the film department. So, so many spaces all under one room, you know, to um, put that all together. And see, all, all, each, each, each person there, it's a different kind of series. Market is different, sports is different, visual effects is different, yeah. uh, production is different, director's rooms are different, editing suites are different. Uh, now I think even uh, we have some television aspects also happening there. And it's a different set of crowd. They may seem all related. To entertainment, but all different set of people doing different kind of jobs, and I think that becomes. Uh, and, and we do believe, I believe, that when I go to a workspace, it should be pleasant and nice. Which you spend lots of time there, and uh, I want it to be the best for the people, including myself, when I go to work. So it's not that you're being difficult. Yeah, but you have to put it in organized manner. So one flow. Yeah, you have to organize it and make it yeah. still work. I mean, exactly. And you're still at it, you know, every day. There's something new which is coming up. So I think um, I'll go with that. I'm tempted to ask one last question to you, Shahrukh, and this is something that you speak about in the forward as well. Uh, when you say that Gauri brings a unique style, you know, a bit of herself, you know, a personal touch to each project that she works on. So would you like to say something more? I think it's very kind of her, you know, to be sitting here and not really talking about all the other projects she has done. Uh, before we walked in, she said, listen, I don't want to be riding on top of the fact that I've done this big restaurant, I've done this big house, so we'll talk about stuff we've done internally, uh, which takes away a little bit of, it's a place where she would have liked to spend time to, you know, so and I think that, that makes it very uh, personal, it makes it warmer, it just makes it nicer. Uh, there are certain things, you know, when we are going into the house or outside also, to be honest, I've seen some of the places you design, you go there, and the kids and me always go, oh, Mama's here, Mama's here, Mama's designed this part, and I like that, oh, see, Mama's style and all. There is this personal touch, and she takes it very, uh, you know, she's, what is nice is, we all do, in our family, we do work very hard and very professionally in trying to get what needs to be done, it's a culture we follow in our family. But somewhere down the line, when it comes to homes and houses, 
It is double the responsibility. It's not just a film that you make and hope everybody likes. A house has to be lived in by the families there and loved to death. So that is a double the responsibility. And I, I see her working at three in the morning, four in the morning, and the whole idea is to make it like a like a home or a, an office which seems worked in and lived in does not seem, you know, like I said, sanitized and clean, just good walls and good floors. So I think that's an important aspect she spends maximum time on because putting a four walls, floor and a ceiling is the easy part. Making it livable and lovable is, I think, what a designer should do according to the choice of the client, not just your uh, will and fancy. Thank you so much. Congratulations again to you, Gauri. We're very proud of your function. Thank you, Shahrukh. With that, I'm happy. I would like to thank uh, Mr. and Mrs. Khan and the lovely audience for this wonderful evening. Uh, may I now invite Mr. Puneet Chakpal, MD and CEO, INCL, and Mrs. Chakpal, along with Mr. Hitin Dadavesi, uh, CEO, HSBC, for a photo opportunity, please. <laughs>